Alright guys, so I believe I was born into a crazy world. One where people value money over people. Um, I grew up in wealthy areas. My parents obsessed with money. My mother, it's all she seems to care about sometimes. That's not all she cares about, but she cares about it far too much. People, you know, want all this money, this big houses, these big cars, but you know, I, I think they're just brainwashed. They, you know, they don't realize human beings are a social species. Owning all this wealth is not sociable. It's it's damaging. Now, I want to move out of this area. I want to move somewhere else. Uh, okay, that might sound a bit strange, but uh, thing is, um, I'm oh, low battery. Okay, turn on. Thing is, you know, I I grew up in this area, and you know. Black Rock, Kirk Mines, now there's the Lorgan. I feel as if, you know, there's just no community. People don't talk to each other. People just close off from each other. And I don't agree with that, okay? Um, you know, I was talking to a girl at work and she said, Oh, I know like all my neighbours. I'm like, How do you know your neighbours? Where do you live? And she said, Oh, I live in an apartment. And she grew up in the apartment. I'm like, Yeah, you know, apartment is, you know, a lot cheaper, a lot smaller than a house. I just feel like having too much wealth kinda of cuts you off from others, okay? So you know, like now you know, I don't own my own house. I just rent a room here. Um, this this house is being occupied by five other people. So I feel like because there's five other people living here, uh, I'm not completely socially isolated. I've got people to do things with, go out to restaurants and stuff, and uh, and that's important. That's very important. Um, you know, because human beings are a social species. Okay, and I like my alone time, but you know, you don't be alone too much. Um, you know, growing up, I was a loner, didn't know any of my neighbours, um, you know, Kirk Mines, I was a loner, didn't know any of my neighbours, I just feel like, that's not natural, okay, too many people put their individualistic goals first, okay, now I'll be honest, I have individualistic goals, YouTube, I have a YouTube channel, so far it feels like it's solo individual thing, because I've no, I've hardly any subscribers, hardly any comments, views, but I know if I keep uploading every day, I'm going to improve i'm gonna get more views more subscribers more comments because i want to set up a community i want to do live streams i want to do skype calls with people uh, i want to set up a little bit of a community here i don't have it yet but i gotta just be patient and keep working hard at it um if you know what i mean Rome wasn't built in a day um you know so it's gotta be uh it's not gonna be easy um but yeah but even just living in more working class areas where people talk to each other people you know people can be so obsessive and uh, getting wealthy and successful getting all this wealth and fame and at the end of the day, it's not a very fulfilling life, I don't think. Uh, unless it's just something you really enjoy. Uh, that's the thing, that's why I don't want to have all this wealth and materialism. That's why I want to move to a, a more down-to-earth area. I just feel like it's sick. I'm going to consider moving to a more uh, down-to-earth area because, you know, it's just it's just ridiculous uh, the way society is. Um, you know, we've gone from, you know, collectivism to individualism and that's causing us to suffer. And people think, oh, if I'm depressed, I'll just go to a psychologist and he'll just, he'll just, he'll just give me drugs and I'm okay. Like, drugging yourself? Does that sound like a good idea? Or would you rather just change your lifestyle in order to improve your mental health?